So I slept a lot. I just took him out to do a million peepees. Um, woke up at quarter of six. He woke me up to eat. I didn't know what time it was. Um, I'm definitely awake for the day. I think I'm going to try to return that gate. Remember, even to take a bath, I have to walk a little bit of a distance. The gate's not super heavy, but it's bulky. I don't know. I'm going to mope it as some kind soul will see me lugging it. And Where are you headed? Would you like a ride? Yes, please. Yes, please. He woke me up. I had no idea what time it was. And we actually slept. It was like 4.30 in the morning or something. It was quarter six. So he was right. It was time to get up for him to eat. He knew it. And then right afterwards, while he's eating, I put my shoes and socks on. And I took him out to do a million peepees. He did the poo-poo dance, which means he probably needs to go poo-poo. Um... So, I am not uh, letting him loose. I had him in the carrier, but he cries, so I don't want him screaming while I was making the video. As long as he's right next to me, it's okay. He can't, he can't do poo-poo if, um, if he's not out of my sight, right? Right? When I was at the vet's, I had forgotten that he'd done poo-poo on the walk there. And I didn't want to, it was in a bag, and I figured a vet's office probably has some place to put poo-poo or something. So I told him, I'm like, what can I do with this? What is that poo-poo? He's like, do you, do you want a feces? And no, I'm, I just, he went to the bathroom the way, and I need to throw it away. I didn't want to leave it in the bathroom. And then she joked. She was like, well, that would probably have been more appropriate. And I'm like, yeah, but you, it's not, the poo-poo's not going down the toilet. It's not flushing. It's just going to sit in the garbage and smell. And she took it from me. She's like, I'll do something with it. I figured a vet's office has some place special to put poo-poo, you know. And I'm not going to leave it in the in the bathroom. And if I thought about it, you could say, okay, well, you could have taken it out of the plastic bag and dumped it in the toilet. Yeah. And the remains of, are still in the plastic bag that I'd have to throw away and it would still smell in the basket, you know. So I don't know. I didn't want to do that. I figured they have a place to put it, and they they could have, they could have told me too where to go put it. So she took it from me. Mm, that's just a poo poo story, one of many. Um. I'm going to take a shower. I might go see the Hunger Games tomorrow. I don't know. No, I'd rather see it. Since I don't work, I would rather see it when there's less people. Like during the week on a non-weekend day. I prefer there to be less people. And I know from experience, last time I saw a movie that a kid shouldn't even have been attending and the kid wouldn't stop doing stuff like, like kicking on my chair or whatever the kid was doing, I forget. But, you know, I forget what the movie was too. But I don't go see kids' movies, so whatever it was, I think it was a movie a kid shouldn't even have been attending, and the kid wasn't really focusing on it, and, and you know, so there's kids in school, I'm much better off going to see it, like a, a matinee or something like that when the kid's in school, right? Because people do take their kids. In this instance, it wasn't even, they weren't, the, the kid wasn't with the parents, the kids were with, like, older teenagers or something or other, and, and... 
the kid wasn't interested in the fucking movie. The kid was interested in, in doing this and that and everything else and driving me nuts, so... And I didn't actually say anything to the kid, but I turned to the, the, the adults, I put in quotations, and gave them dirty looks. And they saw me giving them dirty looks, because the kid was driving me nuts. And it wasn't, he wasn't like, he was probably, I don't know, nine years old, whatever he was. And I can't remember the movie. But in any case, it, it, it he, he wasn't interested in the movie. Um... And I don't go see kids' movies, so... I just figured out, yeah, I'm not going to go see The Hunger Games on on a weekend. I don't want to. I'm going to go see a movie alone. I'd rather do it during, a, during the week, during when there's not going to be very many people in there, simply by virtue of the fact. They just won't because people are working and then and, and, and kids are in school. So. And actually, it's only an R rated movie that a kid can't go to without a company adult, right? I think. So. Slightly older kids probably can't get away with seeing a PG-13. I wish I could remember the movie. I don't. I just realized that I'm not going to go see the Hunger Games. Ain't gonna do it. Remember now that my jeans I have, I have a hole in the ass. I only have one pair of jeans at my disposal to wear. And then, of course, my stretchy pants. Not exactly from winter in New England, you know. And they're all right. It's, you know, you're going to be a little colder down at your ankles because they, they're, they're, they don't, they not go down all the way. You know, they're stretchy pants that taper off. You know, they're like slim cut ankles or whatever, you know, whatever you call that. What do you think about the universe, Omar? Omar thinks we might be a failed experiment. Of course, Mama accepts all possibilities about all things. Just doesn't know. Nobody really knows for sure. think about this shit all the time. Even just now in the dark, taking him out to pee, I'm looking up at the stars, you know. What is it? Why are we here? What's out there? Is anything out there? It's funny, though, because years ago, I, w I used to write things all the time on Yahoo Answers, and there was a thing I wrote, something to do with, with atheists and whatnot, and